Finding the courage to change, preventing collateral damage. A loved one recently told me about a problem they are facing. I did my best to just listen, but in spite of myself, made several problem-solving suggestions. My loved one firmly told me that I needed to stop trying to fix them. I sighed in frustration with myself. I was fixing again. Then they became upset. You always judge me, they said. My heart sank. This person was reading me accurately. I was frustrated and judgmental, but my emotions were not about them. They were aimed at myself. My husband listened to me talk with one of my children. Then he said, I wish you were so patient with me. I thought back. When was I impatient? I wasn't feeling impatient with him. I was feeling, I was feeling impatient with me. When I judge and attack myself, I cannot hide it. My loved ones can feel my impatience and frustration. I'm radiating a vibration that feels like an attacking response to them. How many times has my inner self-judgment and frustration wounded my loved ones? They are taking on collateral damage. My emotional vibrations are more powerful than I realized. If my negative emotions are so powerful, then my positive emotions must also have great power. There is an obvious solution. I must learn to be kind and patient with myself. My practice of inner kindness and acceptance will impact everyone. Because I love them, I'm making it my business to learn to love myself. I'm learning to prevent collateral damage.